going to your kettlebell program, this is going to be level one, and we have tutorials that break down the swing, clean, press. So you definitely want to watch those first before doing this little flow. This is going to be eight minute flow. We're going to do all the major components of the body and finish with a little bit of yoga. I'll give you a little bit of cueing on this one, but not too much since we're just going to be moving. You're going to start with one arm swing. Start standing, slide the shoulders down the back, and you begin. So on this one, if you're doing kettlebell sports style, you want the pinky to be up, thumb is down, and I'm pushing my hip into my forearm. Ideally, shoulder or head height. If you get fatigued, you can keep it maybe belly level, rib cage, or back to shoulder height. This other arm is just going to naturally swing. You want to wrap your thumb around the index finger and stand up tall. So you don't want to lean back or lean forward. And I'm not overly tight because this is just a warm up. So I do have abdominal pressure when I stand up. My legs, my glutes are engaged. But I'm more reliant on the movement of my body. For three, two, and just switch to the other side. My arm is relaxed. I'm pushing my hip into my forearm. You can play with the breath pattern. Exhale would be this. More kettlebell sports style. I want to use my breath and the expansion of my chest to help send the kettlebell up. And again, you want the pinky above the thumb, slight bend in the elbow, pushing the hip into the forearm, keeping the shoulders down the back, eye to the hand on the bell. If you notice, the hand is at a 45 degree angle the whole time. Three, two, and you're going to switch, clean. Rock back, clean. So a couple pointers on this one is you want your hand fully inside the bell. So if you notice, the base of my palm and my thumb connect, and the bell is pretty much resting on me. As it comes down, you want to think of it like a bowl, just let it roll off you. Engage to the top, let it roll. Make sure you actually hit the position off the mat. A little more advanced technique, you can do a shoulder pop, which will take the bell off you quicker. Still hinging at the hip, so definitely not a squat. Connecting elbow to hip. Three, two, and Alternate hand switch, other side. Couple other pointers. I'm going to follow my eyes to the handle. I'll stay tall. At some point, as the bell comes down, you'll feel it. That will tell you you need to hinge. Still pushing the hip into the forearm. When you get to the top, ideally the thumb should be able to touch the clavicle. Swing your hip forward. You can also visualize if you find yourself smacking your arm. Imagine there's a wall in front of you and on the side of you, and you're going to catch it like you would a water balloon or an egg. Getting the hand fully inserted. Last three, two, Alternate hand exchange, switch, find the right position, hard press. So you're going to make a fist with the opposite hand, squeeze the lower body. Ideally, the bell doesn't move. However, you got tight shoulders and it opens up a little bit, that's fine. As it comes down, you want to give that same feeling when you're catching the ball. 
So it's really me relaxing. Everything's engaged at the top. I can do an inhale breath. Squeezing the lower body. If you start to get fatigued, you can make a tighter fist with the opposite hand. Bell not moving. One more. And switch. Option hand to shame, try the rack position. Base of the palm of the thumb, right hand out. Standing nice and tall now, you can pull your back. And so as it goes up, you can think of your elbow pointing forward, or the blade of your hand pointing forward. If the blade of the hand opens up a little bit, it's fine, as long as it doesn't go right here. When it comes down, just relax. You start to get fatigued in the fist, that position, doesn't move up. You can even take your toes, grip the mat, squeeze the quads, squeeze the core. Last five, four, three, two, and I'll your hand change, switch. Going right into squats. So from here, heels in, toes out, keep the chest lifted, drop the hips back. Ideally, hip comes in line with the knee. You can also take the left hand, place it on top. If you want to add a challenge, hand out. For three, two, and watch your hand change. These last drills with a squat in a row, 30 seconds. Drop. When you stand up, stand fully up. Knees, track toes. Push your hips back, keep your chest up, chin level. You can wrap the hand and the knee on top. Breathing, dropping the hips slow. Three, two, and one. Double go down. All you can do is lean forward, keep the same position, make a form, a frame with the left arm, grab your bell, set yourself up again, shoulders down, chest up, core tight, start to row. So keep your abs engaged. Shoulders down the back. Now a fast row. Track the handle to the rib cage. Elbow back, close to the body. You can think of the elbows going straight to the ceiling. Make a fist with the opposite hand. Exhale on the effort. And switch. Other side, lean forward. Tight grip on the bell, thumb, left and index finger. Hips are back, chest is up, shoulders are down. Trapping the hand to the hip, elbow back, putting the weight of the heels. When you start to get fatigued, grip your toes, make a fist, crush the hand over the back. Five, four, three, two, and time. Take your bell to the back of the back. We're going to finish with a little bit of yoga. Okay? So just a little shoulder opener, hip opener. Right foot's going to go in front, drop the knee. And from here, you're just going to reach up, wiggle your toe so that it's at the edge of the mat. From here, right arm will go in your left arm. Interlock the fingers, make a little prayer. As you inhale, open up. As you exhale, dip down.
Get a breath here. Switch. So that was about an eight minute flow. So you can imagine if you're doing a kettlebell competition where you're doing a drill for 10 minutes. You can see how it developed like the type of body you know, is functional because you're doing a lot of movement with the body that is uh, biomechanical. Meaning that the better you move, the stronger you're going to get. So just dip it down. Bring the elbows towards the belly. So just slow the breathing down so you can inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. Hinge forward, lower down. Inhale. Exhale, center back. And that was your kettlebell flow. As you can tell, intense workout. This is a warm up bell, or this is the bell I use to warm up. But you can go any way. Work on the technique and then all the rest will come. Thank you so much. Peace.